Bob here, coming to you from the Virtual Crash Training Center in Gainesville, Florida. Do you use point cloud data to help produce your 3D environments in Virtual Crash 4 or Virtual Crash 5? If so, this video is for you. We're going to discuss a fast and easy way to simplify your 3D environment builds with point cloud data by using Cloud Compare's Class Simulation Filter plugin. You can download Cloud Compare at the link shown in the description section below. First, we'll start by importing our Pix4D assets into Virtual Crash 5. Select the world files in the Windows File Explorer and drag and drop them into Virtual Crash. Enter the appropriate settings into the the import dialog box, press OK, and your point cloud and image assets will import into your scene automatically aligned and scaled. Our objective is to create a terrain mesh with the Easy Surface Builder, but only using the ground points. We want the off-ground points to remain visible in our final environment build, but the ground points to be hidden. For complex terrains, this process is made a bit easier if we separate our ground points from off-ground points using Cloud Compare's Cloth Simulation Filter. Let's drag and drop our full point cloud into Cloud Compare. Ensure that Cloud Compare has correctly identified your file format and press apply all. If asked to translate because coordinates are too big, just press yes to all. Once your point cloud is loaded into Cloud Compare, left click, hold and drag to rotate, right click, hold and drag to translate, and use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Now we're ready to use the cloth simulation filter. The cloth simulation filter works by inverting the point cloud and dropping a simulated cloth model onto the points. The cloth is allowed to settle as gravity fights against the internal cloth tension over many iterations. The filter then classifies the points on the ground if they fall within a specified distance from the simulated cloth. Otherwise, they're classified as off-ground. You can find more information about how the cloth simulation filter works in the link provided in the description section below. Go to the left side and left-click on your point cloud. Next, go to plugins and left-click CSF filter. The filter requires four input parameters. First is the type of terrain, steep, relief, or flat. This essentially controls the simulated cloth rigidity. The cloth is made more rigid for flat surfaces and less rigid for steep terrains. Enable slope process for steep slopes. Now we go to the Advanced Parameter Setting tab. The next input parameter is the cloth resolution. This controls how coarse or fine the simulated cloth will be. A value of one or two units works well in many cases. Next is the number of iterations used to allow the cloth to settle into the inverted point cloud. This typically doesn't need to be changed from the default value. The final parameter is the classification threshold. This is the maximum distance away from the simulated cloth within which points are classified as ground points. If you want to see the simulated cloth surface, enable export cloth mesh. Once you finalize your settings, press OK. To the left in the database tree list, we see the results. We have the ground points, the off-ground points, and the cloth simulation mesh. We'll just hide the off-ground points from view and look for any large holes in our ground points, which may indicate our CSF filter settings need to be fine-tuned. You can simply left-click on the CSF filter group object and delete it, left-click on the original point cloud, and reapply the CSF filter. Here we'll see if using a smaller number for the cloth resolution input setting adds enough fine detail to the cloth simulation to improve the classification of ground points. Now we have much better separation between the ground points and off-ground points. Next, we'll clean up our off-ground point sample using the segment tool. Our objective here is to remove points that would be floating above the road in our final production. Simply left-click on the off-ground points and select the segment tool. Select the type of lasso you want to use. For a polyline lasso, left-click to define the shape. Once finished, right-click. Select either segment in or segment out and left-click on the green checkmark icon. The selected points are moved into a new point cloud, which can be deleted. Continue this process until you're satisfied with the off-ground points remaining. Be careful not to delete the wrong point cloud because there is no undo. If you see misclassified points, you can use the segment tool to separate them as well. Once separated, left-click the misclassified points and control left-click either the ground points or the off-ground points, then go to Edit Merge. This will place the misclassified points back into the proper point cloud. Continue this process to correct any other misclassified points. You can double left click on the point cloud's name in the database tree list and change the name as needed. Here we're labeling one point cloud as off ground points and the other as ground points. Now left click on the off ground points and go to file, save. Change to save as type to ASCII and press save again. Change the order to ASC and press OK. Next, repeat this process to save the ground points. Now, return to Virtual Crash. Drag and drop the two new point clouds into the scene. Remember to use the same settings as you did for the full point cloud. Once loaded, rename the two new point clouds. 
Now, left click on the full point cloud, open the reference point menu in the left side control panel, and left click on the copy button. Next, select the two new point clouds. In the reference point menu, left click on the paste button. You should see the two new point clouds snap to alignment with the original full point cloud. Now you can freeze and hide the full point cloud or delete it since it will not be used for the final production. Freeze and hide the off ground points. Select the ground points, go to the object selection type drop down menu and select the easy surface builder tool. Adjust the settings as needed and then left click on the create button in the surface menu. You'll see the terrain mesh appear in the project menu. You can find out more information about the easy surface builder in the description section below. Freeze and hide the ground points since we no longer need them. Note, we won't delete them in case we need to recreate our terrain mesh. Enable receive projection to see the imagery data and any CAD elements project onto the terrain mesh. Select the mesh and rename it. Then go to create physics make unyielding slash terrain from selection. Then freeze the mesh. Unhide the off ground points. Now you can place vehicles on the mesh and simulate, animate, use the linear momentum tool or diagram. You can find more support and training content at our website, vcrashusa.com. Just head over to the user support link at the top. There you'll find links to our user's guides, blog posts, knowledge base posts, and our schedule of upcoming in-person training events.